Hey YouTube, it's your girl Leah. Again, I wanted to come and give you guys my experience of unboxing and assembling my Spectra S2 Plus breast pump. Okay, so why did I choose this? Because I read that it was quiet. Like that's the number one reason why I wanted to order this. I didn't want a loud pump making me feel like I'm at a, a milk factory. Didn't want that. Also, <laughs> I um, chose it because it's, I read that it was lightweight, portable, and it's cute. That's another reason too, it's really cute. But also, <laughs> um, it has multiple settings on it that, that aren't like extreme, too extreme for your breasts. So that's another reason. So let's get to it. Of course, I played with it already a little bit just to get familiarized with it so I wouldn't be like the blind leading the blind. But here is the box that it came in. Look how cute. Uh, this brand is promoting natural nursing technology. It shows what comes in the box. And it gives like a very minimal description of the things that this product has to offer but even on the box it says it's discreet quiet and familiar so that's awesome so getting to it in your box you should receive two bags two bags not one, but two, because you have two breasts. In your bag will come a bottle with a disc that just comes off easily. You have two pump shields as well. One is 24 millimeters, one is 28 millimeters wide for the size of your nipple, if that makes sense. You have this valve underneath that can connect easily from one detached and placed on the other one, okay? You have a backflow protector. You have tubing. You have an adapter. And of course you have your nice lightweight pump that has a hole on the back to fit your bottle in while you pump if you choose to. So getting to it, let's plug it in. First things first, we're plugging it in. Cut it on, familiarize ourselves with it. It's got a light with two settings for midnight pumping. It lets you adjust the cycles from 38 to 54. It goes, the vacuum goes from one to 12. But I don't think, <laughs> look, I don't think it'll let you really do that once you um, attach the pump to it, but let's, let's just see. So I'm cutting it off. All right. So we will take one top off and I'm going to go ahead and just use a 24 millimeter pump shield just because this valve is already connected to it. You heard that click? If it don't click, it ain't on right. Okay. Take it off and do it again. Here's your backflow protector that goes in the back of the pump shield, the large end only. This white silicone piece only fits on the side with the large nipple that will go into your pump shield. Only it will not, it won't even go around the rim of this side because there's a tab on it to open it. 
Here's your tubing. We'll connect one end of the tubing to this and the other end to the pump. If I can ever get it on, jeez. All right. It's on, it's on, guys. It's... So this is what it looks like assembled. This other white cap that you see in the front is for dual pumping. All you have to do is set up the items in the other bag and just attach the tube into this pump. Pull this cap off and attach the second tube in here for dual pumping. So we're gonna cut the pump on. I don't know if you can hear that. But it's a light noise. And that's just to get the breast ready to create a flow of milk. And that's the uh, expression button. When you have the flow coming through, that's when you press the button, which is what I just did. And you'll notice that this backflow protector pump begins moving faster. We can adjust the vacuum to two. And you see the, the uh, increased speed. This is three. That's four. And that's five. It doesn't let you go any higher than five while the pump is actually pumping on the breast. So I'm gonna take it back down to one on the vacuum. I'm not able to adjust the cycle while it's pumping either. So after you have gotten the milk supply that you need, or if you're in the dark, cut the light on. You can cut the machine off. I've powered it off. I'm disconnecting everything. And I'm gonna put the nipple back on. And that's, that's all you have to do. It's really simple. No, I have not. Um, I haven't even had my baby yet, so I'm not producing. Well, I'm not going to say I'm not producing milk, but I haven't even begun to use this yet. But I'll let you guys know, you know, what my use was like with the machine. I also would like to note that I do plan on using Dr. Brown's bottles because of the anti-colic um, reservoir. It says it fits most breast pumps. But I don't think it really does. Because looking at it, this is not going to go. It's not going to connect. So if it's something that you guys know that I don't know about fit, this fit in most breast pumps, please don't hesitate to comment and let me know what's up with that. That's all I got for this. Also, um, I want to talk about cleaning with you. I plan on cleaning these with... I, I bought some baby dish soap detergent from Target. It was like $4.99 here. Um, so I plan on using that, washing them with this. Um, I'm going to get a, a, a slip tip syringe, excuse me, to just flush back here to make sure there's nothing stuck back there with the tube. I also plan on getting a slip tip syringe just to shooting shooting the solution through with the, the soap and the water through the tube to clear it out and then flushing it again with regular water. All of these will be soaked. This comes apart. All of this stuff is gonna get soaked in my dish water. And that's really all I have to say. It was, it's easy to set up. It's easy to become familiarized with. Um, it's really light. It's, it's neat. It's really neat. I just, that's all I can say is it's really neat. 
But like I say, I will do another review when I actually have my baby and I start pumping. So pray for me. Let's pray that I can get some milk going out these things. And happy pumping to you ladies.